screamed at her. I said, Mom, Mom, this wheel's on fire. Call the 911, call the fire department. Oh my God, I think everybody's dead. Two little girls and their mother die in a fast moving fire that swept through their RV, but could the state of Oregon have prevented it from happening? Well, tonight, surviving family members tell us they may sue the state for the untimely deaths. Jolie Winaga is live with more on that. Joel? Jenny and Jeff, good evening to you. The family of little Serenity and Sophia Cole says if DHS investigated like they had asked, these deaths could have been prevented. Here's a picture of them here this evening. Now, tonight, I spoke with the mother's boyfriend who was there that night. He says he tried to do everything he could to save their lives. I have nothing, 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 nothing left. Daniel McCoy still grief stricken three weeks to the date after losing his girlfriend, Carly, and her two toddler girls to a devastating fire in their RV. He stepped out for a few minutes and upon returning. And it was, it was just completely engulfed in flames and I took off out there and I banged on the walls. I yelled for Carly and Serenity and Sophie to get out. But it was too late. Mom Carly and two daughters died in the fire. Other family members say their lives could have been saved if DHS had previously investigated living conditions in the RV. Through an attorney, they filed a tort claim indicating they may sue the state, but Daniel disputes the allegations, saying the RV was fine and Carly and he were very good parents to the girls. It was a perfectly fine environment, you know, it was, there was no way that you, anybody was going to know that this was going to happen. Fire investigators say the fire was accidental, no foul play. But the devastation of the loss and the horrific images will be with Daniel for the rest of his life. I screamed into the smoke and yelled for Carly. And I tried to reach in and get her. And the smoke filled up my lungs and I couldn't breathe all of a sudden. It was really hot. Just a devastating story. Well, tonight I spoke with DHS by email and by phone. A spokesperson there tells me he cannot comment. He has not seen the claim. Reporting live tonight, I'm Joel Iwanaga, Coin 6 News. Jeff and Jenny, we'll send it back to you.